You know, a lot of us have a favorite restaurant or restaurants in the area, but there's one that's getting a lot of press these days. I spoke with our friends over at the Green Valley Grill to see how they got a national recognition. Take a look. Well, I know this place all too well, and I don't mean the bar. <laughs> Although that's another story. Uh, I'm talking about Green Valley Grill. We're excited. Teresa Martin's with us today. Uh, you're kind of the jack of all trades here and handle it all. <laughs> this is a big recognition for you guys. Tell me about it. Yeah, we're super honored that Open Table listed us among their 100 most beloved restaurants in the nation. It's really cool to see Green Valley Grill's name next to popular restaurants in bigger cities like New York and San Francisco. Wow. So we're so honored that our guests um, love dining with us and um, we want them to know how much we appreciate them. It means a lot for a company of our size that's employee owned. Yes, ma'am. And, you know, you and I were talking, I, I was comparing this to like, this is like a People's Choice Awards as opposed to an Oscar. <laughs> it's great to get the Oscar, but a lot of actors and actresses say, now these are the actual people that are telling us we're this. I mean, that, that's kind of what this is, right? Right, exactly. So Open Table is a wonderful reservation platform that we partner with, and um, guests are able to leave reviews on that platform, and we're ranked amongst one of the highest. What do you so. think is something that you hear the most from people who eat here? why they love this place so much. I hate to say it to sound cliche, but it's all about the service, but we also offer a high quality food and drink at a reasonable price, and I think those those three things together really make us stand out. Yeah, you know, I think too, it's um, you're right, the staff's demeanor and how they handle customers to me is 50% of a restaurant success. Yeah, it makes you feel at home, like you, know, you wanna keep coming back. So it's like Thursday night, let's go to Green Valley Grill. You know, it becomes part of a tradition um, and we, we really appreciate our guests for folding us into their lives in that capacity. This is great, we hope you get it again too. <laughs> so now, and if you haven't been here, then you have to try it out. Thanks, Teresa, I appreciate Thanks, it. gorgeous. It is beautiful. It's a beautiful restaurant. Mm -hmm. So when I first heard about this, um, it, it is kind of like a People's Choice Awards because it's open table. It's people that leave uh, comments mm -hmm. and apparently, oh my gosh, I can't remember the number. Um, it was like uh, tens of thousands of comments from restaurants all across the country and they made the top 100 of what people said that this is our most beloved restaurant, which is pretty cool. I'm not surprised. It's one of my favorites. You all know I talk about it all the time. <laughs> On Fridays, I usually like to order the darn good burger yes. with truffle fries and then go and pick it up. Their food is so good. So if I had an unlimited amount of money, here's what I would do. Uh -oh. I would take my private jet <laughs> and, and visit the top 25 restaurants on that list of uh -huh. 100 most, most beloved. beloved restaurants. I would agree with that. Ooh, that that would be a great trip. And just spend a month, right? Like you go to number one, you oh stay gosh. the night. To the next day, you go to number two, well, you stay the night. Mega millions tonight, right? You mega can, millions, You win that. Yeah. What do you guys think makes a great restaurant? Mm. What would you say it requires for it to be a great restaurant, especially when listed on a so obviously the food thing has to like be, this. That's the thing. But for me, it's food and service. The okay. service is if you get those personable waiters that really take care of you, and mm -hmm. they're, they're they have great personalities, and they're kind mm -hmm. of funny sometimes. Are there? You know, I love the ones. Have you ever been to the restaurants and they get they get down on their knee beside the table to take the? Ta I just oh, think yeah. that's like Aww. they're trying to get like up close yeah. and personal with people. Consistency is also important. Yes. Yes. I mean, there are. There are some restaurants in the triad that I will not go to if I know I only have two hours for dinner because they mm -hmm. just have consistently slow service. And I mean, that kind of reputation can sink a place. Especially if you're on a schedule, you don't yeah. have time Absolutely. to wait. It might know. be good, but not everybody has to uh, love time to wait. I like the vibe, the vibe has to be popping. The look, mm -hmm. the look, you know, I need to feel comfortable. Well, this one makes me want to just like get onto a couch and snug all the dark <laughs> it warm does. colors. With yeah. an old fashioned. Yes. Sitting <laughs> next to a fire. <laughs>